my name is Carolyn Doonan. This is a short presentation on church history in Guatemala. Guatemala is an incredibly beautiful land in Central Latin America. It is a country with diverse ecological system, uh, lush uh, forests and uh, arid terrain as well, and oceans on bordering two sides of it. From a distance looking in, it is a very beautiful city. The buildings are magnificent. City Hall in Guatemala City. Antigua, the original capital city of Guatemala. And yet, looks can be deceiving because not everyone lives in wealth. Some live in a garbage dump, eking out a living, trying to get what they can to sell to be able to buy food. Sometimes people die from standing on the heaps of garbage and a landslide occurs. Life is difficult at times. Guatemala has a curious mixture of religions. At one time, the Mayans were the ruling force, and there is a um, strong evidence of this even in ancient pyramids that are there yet remaining from this ancestral civilization. Beautiful carvings. Then later on there was a Spanish conquest and Roman Catholicism came along. Today there is still a curious mixture of religions together. Sacrificing that took, past, took place long ago to the point of lives being taken and being offered as sacrifice. Hearts ripped out of bodies and burnt as an offering. Bloodletting was important as way of sacrifice in the Mayan culture. The calendar, another very important element in the Mayan culture. Roman Catholicism as well, very strong for many centuries. And then a curious mixture of the two together, which still remain to this day. A very beautiful country, beautiful vegetation, beautiful scenery, forceful at time when volcanoes erupt, green and lush. The children are Guatemalans greatest asset. Life is predominantly young in Guatemala. There are more young people than there are the elderly. But life is very hard for many of the Guatemalan children. This is where a special ministry team from Canada stepped in. Les and Pe Rita Peters from Kamloops, British Columbia stepped in and impacted lives like Eduardo who went to school, got his education, but predominantly Eduardo met the Lord. Eduardo knows the joy of education as these young people do who are out on school procession at celebrating 10 years of Impact Ministries being in their community of Taktik. My friend Karen 
has come as a school principal from Canada to work among the Guatemalan people. She arranges for medical teams to come. Everybody also comes bringing the gospel. Children live without much in Guatemala remote regions. The markets are wonderful and lively. There is much to be displayed, much to be purchased at reasonable prices. And this is where the Guatemalan people are able to make their living. Church doesn't occur until four o'clock in the afternoon in the mountain regions because the mornings on Sundays are for market. And this is a very important part of their lives. The remote hill countries are difficult to get to, but Impact Ministries and other evangelical groups make sure that people are not forgotten about in the hill countries. And though the traveling there is often treacherous and very dangerous, the gospel is taken to the mountain country sides where people learn to know of the love of the Lord. Relationships are built and joy is extended both ways. Simple things that we take for granted, such as bridges to cross over so we are not cut off when the rains come, are difficult to rebuild in Guatemala without backhoes and all the digging to be done by hand, but it takes place. And there is support. Life can look so colorful, and Guatemalans love color. There is an abundance of harvest. But bridges do not always sustain when difficult times come. And sadly, people will return again to this curious mixture of witchcraft, Mayan religion, and Christianity. Christians that go there to minister strive to bring the love of the Lord to these people, and it is making a difference. The light of Christ is shining in their lives. Lives have been changed, yet, there is still darkness, much darkness to overcome, much protection that is needed. People will still sacrifice to the corn god, even while the cross of Christ is in this very presence. Sacrifices are done in caves and the power of prayer is brought there. But lives are changing. Christians are being trusted, trusted with newborn babies when people cannot take care of them because of the love of God that is being shown and demonstrated. Guatemala is seemingly a predominantly um, growing country. Growing in faith, that is, with 40% serving the Lord now, and though the flies can be difficult and hard to manage, some, if we look deep enough, the beauty is there, and the flies are barely noticeable.